In this presentation, we will enter an adjusting entry related to prepaid insurance and insurance expense. Here we go with zero. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars dashboard. We're going to start off opening up our financial statements, going to the accounting dropdown and opening up that balance sheet. When that opens up, we're going to duplicate the tab, mousing over the tab up top, right clicking on it and duplicating it. Then we're going to go to the tab to the left again. We're going to do the same process for that income statement, going to the accounting drop down, and then we're going to go on down to that income statement. Once that one opens up, we'll mouse over the top of that one as well. And the tab up top is what I mean. And we're going to right click on it and duplicate to that tab. Then we're going to go back to the balance sheet, which is all the way on the right. Let's go to the right and we're going to adjust the date. And we want to bring this to the cutoff date, which for us is going to be the end of February. February 29, 29 days in February for uh, 2020. So here's going to be our balance sheet. Now the scenario here is that we're looking at the prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance is on the books for 11,000. We're going to imagine that that prepaid insurance was put on the books for a 12 month time period. And we're going to say that it started uh, at the end of February. So there's 12 months that are going to be applied. Now, remember, when you look at insurance, there's a couple ways you could you could think of it. The traditional way, if you're trying to plan between an adjusting entry and a uh, and the accounting process, you basically would say, hey, you know, accounting process, we would like you to just post every time you pay the insurance policy, post it to prepaid insurance as opposed to insurance expense. And then we at the end of the month, which might be the same person, but then in the end of the month, we'll do the adjusting entry which means that we will then see the amount of the expense that has been expired due to the, the insurance policy expiring, and we will expense the proper amount in accordance with the usage of the insurance based on the insurance policy. So that's how, we're, that's how you would kind of want to do it when you're planning for adjusting entries. Now, if, they, if that wasn't the case and people were just doing bookkeeping in general and they paid for the insurance, then typically they would have just expensed the insurance expense, right? They would have paid possibly for a year's policy and expensed it and if that was the case we would be on the income statement and we would see eleven thousand dollars of insurance expense and we would have to do kind of like the reversing not a reversing entry but the opposite of this adjusting entry meaning we would over we would have over expensed and we would take the amount out of the expense and create the prepaid portion for the amount that needs to be prepaid so the reason you don't normally do it that way is because you want to the the income statement account is a temporary account and, you, and so you would rather say, hey, put it into the permanent account and then we'll make an adjustment to to allocate the temporary portion of it. Otherwise, you get things messed up when you cross over like from period to period because the income statement is going to close out into net income. So that's kind of the scenario. So what we have here in, is we have 11,000 in prepaid insurance. What we're going to say is it the policy is from February 1st to a year, a, a year later, 12 month policy. So one month has passed at this point in time. So we're going to say how much should be expensed at this point in time. Well, it was 11,000 for the year and one month has passed. So we're going to divide that by 12. That means that 916.66, which is, is well, yeah, we'll use that. We'll round it to uh, 916.67 is the amount that we should be uh, expensing in the current time period, which is what we're worried about in Feb. We are worried about in February. And then what should be left here as prepaid is 11 months times 11 months that have not yet been consumed. So what should be left is 10,083. So we'll take out one month, which is gonna be the 11,000 divided by 12 and put that on the expense. And then we'll be left with 11 months here. All right, let's do it. And we're gonna go back to the first tab. We're gonna be opening up our journal entries again because that's what we typically do with these adjusting entries. We're gonna go down to the reports because that's where they put these journal entries. We're gonna be down here in the general report so that we can get to that journal entry button once again. And then we're gonna add the new journal. We're gonna add a new journal. And then I'm gonna hold down control and bring it up a bit to that 125. It's gonna be called an adjusting, I'll just say ADJ entry. We do wanna mark that all these are adjusting entries. They will all, because they're all adjusting entries, these will be adjusting entries, will be as of the end of the month. In this case, the end of February, February 29th. Then we're going to say that uh, with the insurance expense is going to be the debit insurance expense insurance. There it is. Now the one with the six, three, that's the expense item. This one you can tell by the number is, is an, is in the assets. So this is the expense. 
It's going to go up. Expenses go up in the debit direction by the 916.67. And then the other side is going to be prepaid insurance. That's the one. And it's going to be, it's an asset account, which has a debit balance. We're going to make it go down by the six, uh, by the 916.67. Let's post it out and see if it does what we would expect. Let's go ahead and post that. Let's go back to the balance sheet then. If we go back to the balance sheet and we're going to refresh it. And when, once we refresh it, this 11,000 is going to go down, you would expect. Let's do the calculation one more time. 11,000 divided by uh, 12. So that would be per month. And there's... 11 months left times 11 so something like that there's going to be a rounding difference but that's going to be it so i'll go back up top update and back on down and we've got the 10 uh 10 so that looks correct and then on the income statement if we go back to the income statement then and we're looking for the month of february let's just update this report and scroll on down we've got now insurance so here's the insurance and it's on the books at that 91667 so we pulled over one month of insurance even though we paid for 12 months because we want to expense them as we're consuming the insurance not as we're paying for the insurance so that so that each month when we compare each month to each month uh, compare them to each other we'll have we'll be able to compare like to like you know because we used the insurance equally over those periods and that's going to be better for like the matching principle so also note that we're not going to do a reversing entry so you want to kind of get a feel for those types of adjusting entries which you need to reverse and those which you don't right so the last one we needed to kind of reverse for the accounts receivable this one's a permanent adjustment it's not going to be something that will be reversed we'll just keep on doing this adjustment and, and adding another 916 each month as the policy expires. That's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.